There is awful tragic news from overseas late today. It's about an American journalist named James Foley who went missing in Syria two years ago now. He hasn't been seen or heard from since. Well, sadly, today we learned he was apparently beheaded by ISIS militants in a graphic video that's been posted on the web. Also in that video, an ISIS member speaking English who claims to be holding a second American journalist and threatens to kill him as well unless, as they demand, the U.S. gets out of Iraq. The following report does not contain the video released tonight because it is far too gruesome. But we get our report on James Foley tonight from NBC's Andrea Mitchell. The video released by a website connected to foreign fighters shows journalist James Foley before he was killed. An American war reporter freelancing for the Global Post News Agency, Foley was captured in Syria on Thanksgiving 2012 and was believed held by ISIS. U.S. officials believe Foley was being held at the ISIS stronghold in Raqqa in northern Syria, along with other captured Western journalists and aid workers. Yes. Foley's family appealed oh, for his release on the Today Show last year. So we just ask his captors to recognize his innocence and his desire to help the Syrian people um, and to please have mercy and let him be free. Foley was intrepid. He had also been captured during the civil war in Libya and held for 44 days. And he talked about his experiences uh, to the Boston Globe. Kind of the presumption is you're a spy and you have to prove to them that you're not a spy. So you have to be very careful and detailed of what you tell them. Other journalists, French, Belgian, Spanish and Danish, had also been held by ISIS in Syria, but were released, reportedly after their governments or intermediaries paid ransom, although that was denied. Friends of Foley's have been pleading with the State Department to do more to rescue him, but officials feared any covert operation would result in the death of all the hostages being held. And the U.S. has refused to pay ransom to terrorists. Now ISIS is threatening to kill that other American hostage if the U.S. does not get out of Iraq. Brian? What a horrible, sad development from overseas tonight. Andrea Mitchell in our D.C. newsroom. Andrea, thanks.